Hello and welcome everyone to another edition of Coach's Corner, our weekly coaches segment where we sit down with Trevor Gorman, the head men's soccer coach here at the University of Albany. Coach, this past week, yet another draw against UMBC, a 1-1 draw. You guys got on the board early, gave one up late. Uh, I'm not going to ask you whether you're frustrated or not because I know we've talked about this before, but uh, well, what was your takeaways from some of the, some of the game? Well, I thought it was a it was a good game in a lot of ways. It's, it's it's typical this time of year. Every conference game is hard fought. Every conference game is well played. Teams know each other very well. And UMBC came in a very good team. I thought we were good in the first half. I thought we put them under a lot of pressure. I thought the game was back and forth, and we were rewarded with the penalty kick and, and take a one nil lead into the half. And second half we started well, and unfortunately we just got pinned in a little bit. A little bit too deep late on in the game sometimes the tendency if you're protecting a lead is to go into a shell and as much as you want to get them out a little bit more and push higher and, and put pressure on the opponent we, we couldn't quite do that we didn't take our chances to score the second and you know, broken record we, we gave up a goal but a 1-1 draw in the end is is not an awful result against a very good team and now as we'll talk about there's there's three games left in the homestand and that's right you got th three games left and just to, to look back for a minute at your schedule this season, eight games yeah. that have gone the full way. I mean, th you're working on a legitimately a few extra games on top of your schedule if you, if you add those up, right? Yeah, you start putting the minutes in there, and we've played 15 games, but minutes-wise, we're probably closer to 17 at this point. It's, it's been un, unusual. It's yeah. been a season like I haven't been a part of before and to look at a record now and to see six ties, I think you know, the stat people can correct me if I'm wrong, we may have the most ties in the country. Right now we're certainly up there. So it's, it's been an experience and all we can do is hope that it, at some point it pays off and the extra experience, yeah. the extra minutes become a positive in some is, way. Is there any concern in the back of your mind that physically that it'll, it'll work against you or are you not worried about that? I don't think you can worry about it. I think games come so thick and fast and players love to play so ultimately it becomes our job as coaches to manage the bodies in between games and so this week we have a full week to prepare which we haven't had in a while so we were able to have an off day Sunday, a light day yesterday, another light day today and then we'll really ramp up our preparation so we just try to do everything we can to regenerate, recover, rehabilitate and then get ready to strap it on and play again. Well, you're going to be playing again. Like you said, you got three games left. How do you feel about your team, everything, where you're at after the season? It's been unusual. Yep. Uh, wh wh where are you guys at for these last three matches mentally? Well, we've got a shot to win the league. Yeah. That's, that's how we look at it. Everything, everything that's happened, everything that's frustrated us, that's been good, that's been bad, that's been ugly, it, it all leads us to where we are now. And we have three games, nine possible points remaining and we have to believe as a group that if we get those nine possible points we have a chance to win this league and whether that's the regular season or whether that's playing in the postseason we have that opportunity so our focus is fully on Friday night and Stony Brook coming in and that's the first that's the first of the three points and then you reassess after that. And you do have Stony Brook coming in as you just mentioned and it's senior night and this is always sometimes a little bit tricky because you want to honor your seniors uh, but you also need them everyone focused ready to play uh, but before we talk about the matchup with Stony Brook, your seniors, this was your first class, right? Yeah, this was the group that, that we brought in uh, for 2011 when, when I was hired. and was a late addition to, the, to everything because I didn't start until March. So these guys are, are pretty special. They've been through a lot and they have a, a different background. You know, we have two from all the way in New Zealand that, that came over back in 2011. And Dom McGar, we've talked about before, the captain. He's played every minute of every game that he's, that he's been here. Pomari Teanao is a very talented player who's, who's pretty far up the charts when it comes to Division I records for men's soccer here. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to play this season after suffering a broken leg, but he's been a tremendous influence on the program. Then you turn around and Brandon Wilson's from Troy, New York. You know, he came, came just down the road and he's been just such a presence for us over his four years playing, I think, probably five or six different positions, uh, whatever, whatever's been needed. And then Tim Allen, the, the goalkeeper, he joined a year later as a sophomore as a transfer, but again, Brisbane, Australia, and Tim's professionalism and his preparation has been a great example. So those guys will forever be those that help shape the culture of what we're trying to do. And we really want to see them go out the right way. And so to honor them is always special. And then obviously that game maybe means a little bit more to them yeah. because they'll always remember the recognition and, and knowing it was senior night. So I always find that teams play well in that environment. The whole team does because they love each other. They love the seniors and 
nobody wants to see those guys have a bad taste in their mouth on that night. Right. Well, if you raise your level, hopefully you can get a win against Stony Brook. Uh, before we let you go, last question. Uh, what do you guys need to do to beat the Seawolves on Friday night? Well, Stony Brook comes in a little bit of a similar situation to us with, with a conference record. We're, we're right about the same thing. They've got very talented players, a diverse population they've brought in from different parts of the world. They, they'll try to play some good, attractive attacking soccer. and It's a battle. It's, it's you Albany at Stony Brook. It doesn't matter the sport. It's, it's going to be a battle, and, and we're hoping that with uh, having senior night there, honoring them, it's, it's our you-can-play night here for the fall semester. So we're hoping there's a good atmosphere, good environment, and as we always tell the guys, it's, it's 90 minutes for three points, so we'll see what we can do. All right, best of luck on Friday night. Great, thank you. All right, that'll do it for this week's installment of Coach's Corner. As always, you can catch Coach and I next week as we recap the Stony Brook game and look ahead to the home stretch of the schedule and into the America East playoffs. For Trevor Gorman, I'm Zach Bai. We'll see you next time.